government propelled the earnings of controversial supplier Farmily Pharmaceutical Corporation from a capital outlay of 625,000 pesos in 2019 to a net income of 264.7 million pesos in 2020. Financial statements and notices obtained by Rappler show the company is poised to earn at least 2 billion more in additional pandemic contracts. Farmily's financial statement for 2020 shows its sales that year was a whopping 7.49 billion pesos. In 2020, the government awarded Farmily at least 7.9 billion pesos in pandemic contracts. Contracts accessed by Rappler from public databases show they have won at least four more pandemic contracts worth 2.3 billion pesos in 2021. One of the contracts worth 37.9 million pesos for 2 million face shields was awarded by the DOH on June 11, 2021. Farmily Pharma won that contract through a venture with a young company called Business Beyond Limits, OPC. The rest of the contracts Farmily Pharma won in 2021 are 507.3 million pesos for 517,613 personal protective equipment sets awarded by the Procurement Service of the Budget Department on May 19, 2021. 774.3 million pesos for 17,000 RT-PCR test kits awarded by PSDBM on June 2, 2021 and 1 billion pesos for 26,970 RT-PCR test kits awarded by PSDBM on July 26, 2021. Rappler's investigation shows Farmily Pharmaceutical Corporation is linked to President Rodrigo Duterte's former economic advisor, Michael Yang, through one of its owners, Singaporean Huang Zhu Yen. Budget deliberations at the House of Representatives show no funds have been allocated for health workers' allowances in 2022. This despite the health workers' protests demanding their long overdue COVID-19 benefits. <laughs> health Secretary Francisco Duque III on Thursday, September 2 tells lawmakers the health department requested for funding of health workers' allowances and benefits for 2022. But the budget department excluded them from the agency's proposed budget. Marikina's 2nd District Representative Stella Kimbo points out, the proposed 19.6 billion pesos budget for the DOH's COVID-19 response in 2022 may not be enough. Doka says the DOH is also banking on the passage of Bayanihan 3 to fund health workers' benefits in 2022. Kimbo points out, even if the measure were enacted into law, there is no itemized appropriation for the benefits of health workers. Meantime, in a bid to make COVID-19 testing cheaper, the government reduces the price cap for RT-PCR tests. The price cap is set at 2,940 pesos to 3,360 pesos for private hubs and 2,450 pesos to 2,800 pesos for public testing centers. For home service testing, the government set a price cap of 1,000 pesos on top of the testing cost. The new price cap issued by the health department will take effect on Monday, September 6. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The governors of New York and New Jersey declare a state of emergency late on Wednesday, September 1 or Thursday, September 2 Manila time. Record-breaking rains from Tropical Storm Ida led to flooding and hazardous conditions on the roads, with the media reporting at least six deaths. New York Governor Kathy Hochul on Twitter declares a state of emergency to help New Yorkers affected by the storm. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio describes the flooding and weather on Wednesday night as a historic weather event. Nearly all New York City subway lines are suspended as the remnants of Ida brought rain and threats of flash floods and tornadoes. Earlier in the night, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy also declares a state of emergency in response to Ida. All New Jersey transit rail services apart from the Atlantic City rail line are suspended due to the extreme weather. Filipino pole vaulter E.J. Obiena clinches the world number 5 ranking on Thursday, September 2. The feat comes days after the 25-year-old pole vaulter shattered his own national record. He cleared 5.91 meters last Saturday, August 28 in the Paris Diamond League, which shattered his previous national record of 5.87 meters. He writes on Facebook, World number 5, an ordinary man guided by God's extraordinary grace. I may not meet the expectation of all, but I keep trying. In the Paris tournament, Obiena ranked just behind world record holder Armand Duplantis and bagged the silver medal. Duplantis cleared 6.01 meters in Paris to claim the top spot. 
Obiena ranked above American Christopher Nielsen, the silver medalist in the Tokyo Olympics. This is Obiena's latest achievement in his bid to bounce back after an 11th place finish in the Tokyo Olympics. Actress LJ Reyes says she's distanced herself completely from ex-boyfriend Paolo Contis, following the end of their six-year relationship. In an interview with Boy Abunda, LJ says Paolo started to seem distant in late 2020. Matagal ko nang nararamdaman na parang nakahiwalay na siya sa amin. Ramdam na ramdam ko po yun. Um, pero honestly po, ako po yung nagsabi na parang parang hin- parang nasa ibang mundo na po siya. At parang pakiramdam ko eh, iniintay niya lang na manggaling sa akin. The actress was dialing in from the US and it is the first time she speaks up about the breakup. In the interview, Abunda asks why she decided to physically distance herself from Paolo. Parang pakiramdam ko, totoo yung sinasabi niya sa akin, pero dito boy, marami kasi akong nalaman na hindi totoo. Na natatakot ako na, uh, I'm sorry if I'm gonna use this word, pero parang mamanipulate ulit kung ano yung alam ko ngayon na facts. LJ says she is speaking up to clear the air for the sake of her two children. Abunda also asks LJ regarding the rumors. Meron ba talagang third party? I think marami pong makakasagot niyan kahit po hindi ako sumagot ito boy. Speculation of the split started after Paolo unfollowed everyone, including LJ, on Instagram. Fans later observed Paolo removed photos of LJ from his Instagram feed. Paolo himself has not spoken up about the end of their relationship. LJ has a child with Paolo, two-year-old Summer. She also has a child from a previous relationship with fellow actor Paolo Avellino, 11-year-old Aki. <laughs>